Hey guys, welcome back to Walk Should Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire, and we are in the DLC. That is right, we are playing Space Down. We are in the second episode. You might be thinking, Twitchy, that's my name. You uh, appear not to have done all that much during the game, and I will be like, dear viewer, dear, dear viewer, you might be like, might tell that we've only got one duplicate here, but we've also got a transport machine. That's right, we have found ourselves a second asteroid. This is the entire premise of the Space out DLC, the fact that we get to play on different asteroids. And away he goes! It takes a while. It takes a while, it turns out. Boop. And we're back. We're back on the main asteroid that we have been playing on. As you can see, we've expanded quite well here. We've got compost, we've got food, we've got research. But I tell you what, we have not got any oxygen, and that is my aim for today. We've got our little slug plugs down here turning over power for us. These are a new creature in the Spaced Out DLC. They make us make us power, as I say. we just got to feed them metal ores, and I feel like we can do that easy enough. I'm going to come into the research station because there are a few things I want to get. The first is we need to get control of our animals. So I'm going to grab us the ranching research here and also do things like get us the electric grill and maybe a mess table. Maybe we can set up some sort of fooding hall. That would be pretty cool. I uh, also want to start working towards the idea of uh, renewable oxygen over here. At the moment we have an air deodorizer cleaning up the polluted oxygen around here to make nice oxygen for my duplicates to breathe but I think we can do much much better than that. Over on the left hand side of the map we have got ourselves a cool slush geyser but as you can see this is outputting polluted water at minus 10 degrees it's actually being cooled down by the ice around it to minus 16 that is too cold to turn straight into regular water we'll turn it into regular water and it'll be like I'm below zero degrees let me freeze that's not great so we need to try and figure out a way of warming up our water converting it into regular water turning that into oxygen and hydrogen chilling down the oxygen pumping it into the base and using the hydrogen to make power I mean simple right I think another thing that we need to do almost immediately is to go around and try and open up all these other little areas. We've got some uh, bog buckets that we can go get, some marshmallows. Uh, I reckon we can go around and upgrade our farming setup uh, as, as, as well as we can anyway. I'm not sure how much we're actually going to be able to get. You can see we've got sleep wheat over here. The uh, the swamp chard, unfortunately, completely unfarmable. So I'm not sure entirely how we're going to make a sustainable food source, but that is my plan. I also feel like the exploration of this asteroid has gone severely neglected. We haven't even touched the two sides of the asteroid, so that's going to be something we need to do. Uh, we can see that space is just up here. I'm not sure why, just because we were able to teleport around, we got to see the entire surface, but that seems to be the thing that's happened. And with a cool slush geyser here, I'm wondering whether we want our major thoroughfare to be up and down here. Maybe, maybe. This has been something that I have been thinking about. I'm just, I'm not sure. Go on then, as I was talking about it. Let, let's just go up and down here and see what happens. Oh, that's mildly inconvenient. We'll, we'll, we'll just rip all this stuff down. No worries. No worries. It's telling me the colony uh, lacks advanced research researcher. I uh, I kind of disagree. Oh, 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 skills was what I wanted there. I kind of disagree. If we come to the round and round, advanced research. Let's put a hat on that. Let's see if that helps. I've got a feeling it will. Hicks, can you have your hard digging? And Ripley, of course, improve farming. Trying to get Ripley onto the critter ranching as soon as possible as soon as possible. Wow, the recharge rate on this teleporter is quite extreme. We've been in here for about half a day now and the teleporter has barely even moved. I wonder if there is somewhere that tells me the teleport transmitter. No database entry for that. That is quite unfortunate. I'd like to know more. Turns out I'm going to go have to look at the wiki. It's not something I like to do. I've, I've definitely developed a sharp distaste for having to look outside of games for information about the games recently. I'm not sure what it is because it was totally the industry accepted way for, for years now, but I'm like, why, why can't games teach us about the games? Why do we have to look at a wiki now? And Clay have been quite good at giving us uh, little database entries that tell us stuff there, but it's just, it's not quite as all-encompassing as the uh, as the wiki would be. You see this, uh, the mud tells us like what it does, it's mud, uh, dirt and water. Can we can we separate it? Can we separate it into base elements using the sludge press? This is possibly the most explanatory uh, database entry that we have, because if we go to something, say, the copper ore here, it doesn't even tell you that you can put it into a metal refinery, which I know the word metal refinery kind of says it, but if you're just looking up to, to the copper ore. It doesn't tell you that you can change it into ordinary copper. Oh, unless you heat it up with a liquid. But yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't say anywhere that that's what happens. 
leaving me a new player, I'm not, but if we take the, the, the position of the new player, to thinking the only way I can refine my copper is if I try and boil it somehow by hand, by making a hot area. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, I, th I feel like we're lacking somewhere. Hicks, of course, making a grand stride into digging his way up to the surface here. We seem to be doing quite well. We do have water getting loose. I'm not that bothered. I'm not that bothered. We're going to collect a whole bunch of mixed water down the bottom and we'll use our pumping devices to kind of separate these out and um, make use of them. I, I don't even know what we want the different waters for at the moment. So far, we're only using normal water for our research and the polluted water for our bog buckets. So we've already had the electric grill, the mess table, the egg cracker, and the farm tile come through. That's beautiful. Let's have the research. That that took... Oh, no, that's, that's not what the button I pressed. That did not take long at all. And already we are nailing it through that ranching. Oh, man, we're going to be working towards our other research very, very quickly. Ooh, a new principle is available. Let's have a look. Operating ranching, operating uh, digging, and operating. Hmm, I might get this operate and rancher. Bishop, welcome to the group. All right, print you out. Uh, do we have enough food for you? We'll find out. Bishop has earned a skill point straight away. Beautiful. Uh, I want I want you on the improved tinkering. I think so. Is there anything else that you love? A bit of ranching, but no. Let's let's do the improved tinkering. I do also want to do the strength, but let's do tinkering. I suppose the hat would help as well. Okay, let's start thinking about beds, shall we? I think we're going to put a bit of furniture, a cot, down here for random randomer. So that, that's right next to the to the research station. Ripley needs to be in this area over here. Should we make her just another little bedroom down here? Then she can do the ranching and the farming. Hicks is around everywhere. I'm not sure where we're going to put his bedroom. Maybe up here, maybe over this way. Uh, and also now Bishop as well. Maybe Hicks and Bishop can uh, live together. Yeah, that might work out for us. Incidentally, a cycle later, 33% charge. All right, first bed, random randomers. Thank you. Having a, a quick tidy up of the uh, bathrooms over here. A little bit worried about how much dirt we've got spilling off. I feel like we need some deodorizers. One there and one up here. That might work. Let's just put them down and we'll figure out how to get the power flowing to them in a bit because Yes, of course, one of the new things that this update has brought is the need for power for our deodorizers. I might even just grab this uh, this wire here and bring it across through the tiles. Yeah, through the tiles. Oh, 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 we've had some research done. I didn't even hear it come in. So with the research being done there, this is our ranching. I'm not sure whether even uh, Ripley has the skills to take advantage of that right yet. But I want to get the desalinator on the go. Not the desalinator, my bad. My bad. The distillation. I want to get the water sieve so we can start turning our polluted water into fresh water. Very much needed. Oh man, I was wondering whether this polluted dirt was actually losing mass as it goes. And yes, we just watched it happen again. This is losing mass as it is emitting polluted oxygen. Which means we're going to be turning all of this polluted dirt into a polluted oxygen. Which sounds okay, but we'd, I'd also like to get some regular dirt out of it. Which we are doing, but maybe we could go faster. I mean, how many composters is too many composters? These are questions that we've not really explored, and I think today is the day to find out. Okay, of course, one of the things that happened is we got all the uh, ranching materials in, so I want to... Oh, we can't put it on top of wires, you say? That is very unfortunate. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is put a new uh, wall down here so I can then do this wire and bring it down this way instead. Maybe even something similar here. Wait, why are you only 200? Why are you only 200? This should be 300. What's going on? Okay, so we cut down a whole bunch of the wires. This actually means that these plug sucks are going to eat the, the cobalt ore in here. I'm kind of okay with that. I, I think we can live with that. But more importantly, crit drop off. That's what we're here to do, right? Oh, where did this come from? There's been a bog bucket in here the whole time. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's turn auto harvest on it. We'll just, we'll just let that one grow there. Oh, we've exposed something up here that's like, oh, I'm covered. You've got you to gotta come and de-entomb de me. I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll get there. Don't worry, we will get there. Also, I want to uproot this bug, bog bucket up here. Liquid fridge, liquid pipe, liquid pump, and liquid vent have been researched. That's beautiful. We've also got the gas filter, liquid filter, and sludge press. Wait, we've got a sludge press. We should probably think about using that. We've got a lot of mud around, right? I'm guessing refinement. Yep, sludge press separates mud and other sludges into their base elements. Okay, where, where do we put this bad boy? It's something new. Uh, uh, we're building a nice new area over here. Let's do that. Okay, cool. How much power does it take, though? It won't tell me until we've actually made it. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, power, 120 watts. That's real low. That's cool. Liquid out. Output. What does it output? I'm going to assume polluted water, but we'll find out. Anyway, a brand new printing pod. I don't think we're going to be choosing a duplicate, but if someone really amazing jumps out, then maybe we will. Oh, I've crashed it again, haven't I? 
Well, I'm pretty much back to where I was. But we had, I feel like we didn't get as much done this day. I really do feel like we kind of lagged behind the pace of the day that I recorded just a second ago. But we're back where we are. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a do a quick precautionary save. And let's uh, open up the printing pod. Choose a blueprint. Okay, beautiful. What do we want here? Cooking, operating, doctoring, suit wearing, building. None of these, if I'm to be honest with you. None of these. Maybe, maybe this one at some point, but no. Oh, Bishop is afraid of the duck. You know what? Let's uh, let's make him a cot here, shall we? Yeah, look, look, that's better. He's much, much more chill now. So I think slowly as all the polluted dirt gets turned into regular dirt, we're going to end up cutting some of these composters down and maybe turning this into a farm stack. It looks like it'll be uh, quite a good one. Maybe a little bit difficult to keep warm, but uh, we'll see. I should probably turn these into insulated tiles, shouldn't I? I don't, I don't have them. No. <laughs> This entire biome here is just gonna creep with co Oh no, Ripley. Oh no, Ripley, you, you're sleeping in the cold. These batteries should do a good job at keeping the area warmish. I mean, how much heat are they actually producing? Heat, 1.25 uh, killer DTUs? Sounds like a lot. How big a battery room do you think you'd need to have to warm up minus 13 degree water? <laughs> So we're making bog jelly over here. I don't know if this is something that we can actually use or even select. Hey, can we? Can I? Can I select this, please? Okay, I went with this one over here. Does that one not exist? Is that one not real? I don't, I just don't know. Oh, it's because Bishop's eating it. Maybe, maybe that was why. Uh, a fruit with an outer fir a film that contains a chewy gelatinous cubes. So uh, can we? Can we? Can we cook this into anything? Do we? Do we have a? We don't have cooking apparatus up here. What's? What? What's this? No, no, Hicks, that's that's not your bed, mate. That's not your bed. Ooh, the golden arch tells us we got a skill point available. Who is it? Random randomer. Okay, astronomy. Yes, please. We need that. We do indeed need that. If we go into the rocket tree, we've got a telescope. Reveals planetoids in space. I don't think we're going to be able to get to it today, but we are working our way up. The telescope needs line of sight uh, of, the, of the sky. Building must be exposed to space to function. Okay, no liquid output. I just, I wonder what it's gonna do. Mud to dirt and water. Polluted mud to dirt and water. And polluted water. Okay, so this, let's do the polluted mud one and put this here. I mean, are we making enough use of polluted water? We can, we can make this, this uh, tank a lot bigger. Let's do it. Let's put one of those there. Pipe across here and select the polluted mud to polluted dirt and water forever. Speaking of forever, no one's dealing with the toilets. We're going to have to bump up the uh, priorities here. It's always something that, for some reason, just gets forgotten about. Ooh, I, I thought I just saw some drop. We've got some diamond. Mm, that's very nice. That's really good for uh, temperature transference. And as we were talking about that over here, yes. Oh, no, we got we got messes being made. What, why? Why are this not being dealt with? This is uh, very, very out of... Okay, Bishop, Bishop, we need we need you, man. What what, what are you going to do here? Have you got some tidying skills? Let's let's try that. Let's just see whether that now puts you on the list. Oh, we, we appear to have let some water loose as well. In the sa same motion of water being let loose over here, there's more being let loose over there. Wow. <laughs> At least we got some research done. Okay, let's move on and have a look. We got the desal... Uh, not, I don't know why I keep wanting to call it desalinator. We've got the distiller. We're going to be t uh, using the water sieve here to uh, to clear the, the polluted water up into normal water. But I want this liquid temperature. Actually, I want the thermal actuator, but we're not going to be able to make that for the moment. But more importantly, I want the radiant liquid pipes so we can start warming up some of the, the liquids we've got over here. I'm also going to try and use some of this polluted water in maybe a little setup. Ah, wait, actually, let's 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 reevaluate where we're going. I want this one. I want this air systems. I want the electrolyzer so that we can clean up the water over here somewhere now that we've got the uh, the distiller. Like, we'll pump this stuff out. Yeah, that's, that's probably a good area to start cleaning up. We'll pump this stuff out uh, and then pump it in here and then the oxygen comes out at 70 degrees so it should should actually be kind of uh, a good medium for warming up the area anyway. I wish I had something better than sedimentary rock for these tiles up here. If we go through and have a look, uh, sandstone is not thermally reactive. Igneous rock is in fact slow heating. Uh, granite, not really good. Thermally reactive is the sedimentary rock. It's the best we've got. It's not great, but it's gonna have to do. Thermal conductivity of two. Yeah. I mean, leaving the ice there would be better, but with I, I don't think that would actually work out. I think we'd just end up with a very wet, wet area. All right, now, now you get to it. Thank you, Bishop. Thanks. Wow, this is quite unfortunate. 
Okay, save has been made. Let's try this new blueprint. We've been on. Ooh, oxy fern is a good idea. We've probably got a bit of carbon dioxide building up, but look at that. Research 11. That's also pretty cool. But uh, building farming. We don't have a doctor, but I don't think we need one. Let's get that put oxy fern. I think, I think that's going to be cool for us. Where are we building up carbon dioxide? That's the question. I'm going to turn it just onto gas so we're not overly. That's not gas. <laughs> Just onto gas, so we're not overly concerned by all the other colours flowing around. I like this hydrogen pocket we've got building up here. So we've got some carbon dioxide building down here. This seems to be the main place for it. I'm wondering why we don't have more that way. And also we've got a bit of a trap going on over here. Maybe this is where we want to plant our oxy fern. Oh, we've got a new colony achievement. Which one is this? Let me guess. A good egg. Hatch a new critter morph from an egg. Really? What new critter morph do we have? got to be something like kicking around on the outskirts. Outskirts is no way one of us. Look how many sweetles there are. We, there, there's a lot. There are a lot, a lot. Aha! It's a paku. It's a tropical fry. Okay, cool, cool. Is that, does that mean it's hot? No, it was just a a, a, a weird outlier. Let's see, let's see what chance he actually had of doing that. 2%. Wow. Oh, the lack of food has just been brought to my attention. Okay, I think we might need to make a microbe musher. Let's try one of those. Do we even have the capabilities? Yes, we do. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Where are we going to build it, though? That is a question here. I guess we'll be ripping down two of these. That that kind of makes sense to me. Let's try and get this done at a high priority, though, if we can, please. Thank you very much. Okay, can we make mush bars? We can. All right, let's make some mush bars. It's probably not the greatest idea, but we're going for it anyway. I find it interesting that there is no way of working with any of the bog bucket um, materials, at least not so far. Oh, we got we got our research. Beautiful. So that's the uh, electrolyzer down. What's next? Of course, I wanted the, uh, the, the ways of warming the water up. Of course, of course... Of course, automation would also be a very strong play here. I'm not sure if we want to do it right now or wait for a bit. Let's get some basic automation. Let's get that basic automation down. That should hopefully give us some uh, some some ways to interact with things like the atmosphere sensor. And where's the temperature sensor? It's all the way down here. Ooh. Oh, Ripley can now ranch. Beautiful, beautiful. That's what we need to start moving people around. And Hicks, you can now dig abyssalite. Brilliant. Awesome. Okay, it's the next day. No one has come to make any food. We're going to have to tell them that we need some food. Oh, come on, guys. We really need this to get going right now. Six mush bars should see us through a little bit of time. I've also gone and done things like uh, made sure that we can actually get down to this. Other types of food that are being made over here. Indeed, we've also got a grub fruit seed. I mean, maybe we can get that growing. I don't know if they're like special requirements. It needs sulfur. That is, that is a hard thing. I don't know where we get infinite sulfur from. Wow, as uh, tiles are being placed down, they're not as cold as the surrounding ice, and they are instantly melting everything around it, which then also chills down the tile, which then all starts freezing back up again. This is quite the little cascade of stuff going down. Uh, got a bit of a hypothermia problem kicking off over here. I'm afraid we're just going to have to live with it, though. I mean, I'm surprised no one's died yet from starvation. It, it's got to be close, right? It's got to be close. Ripley's at 3,000 calories. Bishop's at 2,000 calories. Hicks is at 3,000 calories. Oh, hold on. Random randomer is 3,000. Okay, so we're all right for the moment. Are they consuming 3,000 calories a day? Is that is that the eat? 1,000. 1,000 calories a day. Okay, so we're doing okay for the moment. For the very short moment. <laughs> All right, the uh, sludge press is being used here. Hicks is spinning around a whole a bunch of polluted dirt in there. I think it's got a uh, polluted mud, sorry. Out comes some polluted water. I'm hoping free of any germs. It is free of germs. This, this is not free of germs, though. Why, why is this not free of germs? Let's just crank that down to that. And then we should have been dropped some polluted dirt. I'm not sure where it drops. I, I didn't I didn't see where it dropped. Polluted dirt. There we go. It drops down here. Okay, cool. Cool. I would have thought it would have come out of this bit. Alright, we've just had some research roll in and that means I can take the liquid tuning here. We're after the tepidizer but also the insulated pipe. Something else that I've been doing is I've noticed that we've got a bit of a carbon dioxide problem building up in here. So I have started this water sieve that is going to be for making the production of the fresh water over here. But I've also hooked it up to this liquid bridge that's going to feed down to this uh, carbon skimmer. So we should should hopefully be able to keep this area nice and clear. Of course, we need to get some water for it. And I think the way we're, where we're going to get it from is over here because it's the warmest polluted water we have access to at the moment. Yes, confirmed warmest polluted water we have access to at the moment. 
Of course, it's been a few days, so I'm going to make a save and let's have a look at the arch again. All right, save done. Let's have a look. Choose a blueprint. No crash. That's great. Algae. Sand. Mm, both good. Research cooking doctoring. Uh, we are missing a cook, and at four, that's not bad, but irritable bowel, small bladder, and unconstructive. Go on, then. You can be our inside person. Who is inside? Jonesy, of course. Is that is that right? We're going to go with Jonesy like that. Let's print you out. Great. Thanks. Uh, that The cat on the Stromo, if you didn't know. Jonesy has a skill point to spend. I'd like to spend it on cooking. He does appear to just be... Sta oh, his fresh print at the end of the day. That's why he appears to just be standing there. I've just realised, of course, this means we're not going to have any food for him. Why aren't my duplicates using the wash basins? What's up with that? Let's let's turn these right up. I keep noticing that they're just walking past from the toilet and not, not using it. They say they've got water. They say they've got wastewater. I, I don't understand. Let's let's try. Oh, we've got people making a mess. Is that is that really a thing? No, 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 no. It's just just mess that is around anyway. So if I now take random randomers and we move you over here, you should wash your hands on the way out, right? That that that's what we're after. If that could totally be a thing, that would be great. So walked in. What? Yes, there we go. All right. Why didn't you do it last time? That's the big question. Okay, so we've got some water hooked up here. I'm a little bit worried that it's going to be a bit much. Have I put this in the wrong way around? We've got polluted water. We're waiting for sand. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, is anybody? No pending deliveries. Oh, we need to get people over here to dig some sand. Look, just, just this will do. Just this will do. Go, Hicks, go. He should be able to do it. Let's turn down the floor build for him a little bit. There we go. Right, we, we, we've got some got some sand in play now this should be good enough to get the uh, the entire system up and working i wonder if we can dig that as well do you reckon they can reach up and round we'll find out okay we've got a bit of flooding down here to deal with as well, well that shouldn't take too long to sort out We've been on the literal knife edge for calories for so long now. I think we're doing okay, though. There's no graph to have a look at there. I'm not sure not sure how we can have a look at a graph. There's normally some around somewhere. Food. There we go. Up, down, go across for a little bit. Is there a way to zoom in? Doesn't look like there is. That's a shame. Oh, wow. Look at this. Wait, go, go on. Do it again, Josie. Oh, he stopped doing it. He was cleaning over the top of the ladder. It was... Uh, I, I put down a mop and then dug out underneath him. And he was just, like, dropping a whole bunch of stuff on the floor. Oh, that was great. Okay, I've put down a storage bin back here. I'm going to go sweep only. And we're going to go liquefiable because I want to clear out all the stuff from in here. There's a lot of stuff that won't get cleaned out. Ah. Oh, 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 and we're away. The scrubbing is happening. Okay, that's that's cool. That's cool. That's really cool. Let's, uh, let's now deconstruct that because we don't need that anymore. Now, the real question, how long until the water freezes in the pipes? Not too long, I'm sure. We are working on insulated pipes somewhere. Where are we? Oh, we've got insulated pipes. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, it's happened. We've got starvation setting in. Uh, we've got one that's ready to go here, so I'm kind of hoping someone can get around to doing that. And what else are we going to do? I mean, we've got some some other plants down here that we can start getting involved with. Like, let's, let's bump up the priority of this one over here. Maybe we can get in and get to that. Okay, all right. We, we have immediately stopped that problem, but that, that was a little too close. Let's have a look. Wait, 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 wait. Save. Let's have a look and see if we've got any food here. No. Oh, it's happened again. Oh, no, it's happened again. We're going to be able to get through the night. I, li I literally don't know. I literally don't know. We're going to be losing people. We might be losing people. Okay, we have to about this time tomorrow. Oof. <laughs> His friend's slowly dying of starvation, but Bishop's having a good time. That's important. Yeah, I know, buddy. I know you're hungry, but we're literally just digging you through to it. H Hicks, you you walk you're walking away from the food, man. What what are you doing? Go and go and get the food. Go and go and eat. Nope, he's not about it. He's just not about it. All right, Fri Ripley, you're not. Oh no. <laughs> Found some paku fruit. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's good. Eat just. Be, be well, my friend. Be well. Let's have a look. Calories now. Mm hmm. Well, that eating. If he was eating for an entire, an entire cycle, he'd get 30,000 calories. Nice. <laughs> Bishop's still having a great time over here. Okay, I've now wired up the electrolyzers as well in some sort of effort just to actually eat through the liquids because we're getting 
little bits of damage done from cold damage, so we, we gotta we gotta watch out for that. Have a look here. We're producing um, hydrogen up top. The oxygen just should just escape underneath, uh, and then we need to start dealing with the actual gases in here. I have gone ahead and disconnected the ones at the bottom because this this takes a little bit more automation that I actually have to run like this. What I'm gonna do is pick it all up with this top guy up here, filter off the hydrogen, which of course I will have to start researching the the hydrogen generator. Wait, where is it? It's not there. It's down here. Okay. Of course, that is waiting for the liquid tepidite. Oh no! Oh no, what happened here? It melted through! Oh, we are in trouble. It didn't melt through. Look, there was some snow. Oh wow. Okay, well, um, let's just turn that one up to super high priority. I mean, I think we're just gonna have to accept the fact that we've, we've, we've let a lot of water loose here. <laughs> this is definitely a problem. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The, the gap has been filled. Oh dear. <laughs> Okay, we are definitely in trouble here. We got two people starving. We do have a bunch of bog buckets up and running, but I don't I just don't think that's gonna go. The growth is being holding pressure, pressure issues. Seriously? Let's have a look and see. Uh, it's because we've got multiple gases coming around here. That is always an issue. I think what I'm gonna do is get some airflow tiles underneath here. I'm not allowed to do that. What? There we go. Airflow tiles underneath there, but dig down these little holes here and see if we can't get a bit of an airflow coming down, letting these uh letting this carbon dioxide out i think that's the problem is the carbon dioxide we're down to one person starving okay this is this is better we're getting we're headed in the right direction ripley where are you how long have you got three quarters of a day okay fair enough uh let's save once more and have a look at the printing pod ice ice it's not it's not good enough also you ever get the feeling that maybe i bit off a little bit more than i could chew for this second second episode yeah i'm starting to feel that okay we're on a panicky mission of confinement the thing i do like is them gasping for air underneath the water uh there's a little pocket of oxygen here this is obviously what they're breathing from but we need to seal this off before we end up with a massively flooded area i'm gonna put a, uh, a little pump here uh, a little liquid pump let's go ahead and do that uh this will then be feeding in down below we're gonna send the uh, presumably warm gases up and through the water before we split them off for either burning for hydrogen or releasing to the base for oxygen. Okay, the containment is almost finished, but one thing I have noticed is random randomers right on the verge of dying. Let's have a look. 200 calories. So I've got to do something fairly drastic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask these guys to hop, pop a hole through here. We're going to go attack, 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 attack. And we're going to put all of this on the highest priority. We're also going to hit red alert because it's time. Turn all their attack priorities up. Let's see if that does anything. No, no the, nobody's coming to do the important thing. Jonesy is. Jo Jonesy's coming to do the important thing. I mean, that's great, but I really want more of them. Okay, show me food. Show me food. Show me food. All right, do, do we have food? Do, yes, they dropped meat. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's turn the red alert off and see if people will deal with the food as it needs to be dealt with. Dealt with. We can eat raw meat, right? <laughs> here he comes, here he comes, grabbing some food, right? Research, eat self. Yes, go, do it, do it, quick, before you're in trouble. Woo-wee. Okay, so we've now got the pump up and running. That's pulling down. I don't like the fact that we can go over pressure here, over uh, power on our power line there, but we're just going to have to live with that, unfortunately. Oh, something else I wanted to do. I'm going to take this liquid bridge. I'm going to copy it out, if it will let me copy it out. Thank you very much. I'm going to turn it around that way, and then I'm going to hook up this bunch of power of uh, insulated wires here. No, insulated pipes here. And we're going to take a, a water overflow. I also want to get rid of this stuff here. I think what I'm going to do is deconstruct the liquid pipe that's down underneath this, deconstruct that, and then we're going to feed it into this liquid vent this way so that we can empty out all the polluted water. My main aim with it is to drop it up into this little water tank that we've got going up there. I think we can probably do with another one over here maybe, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, there's that polluted water being emptied out. The moment it gets past here, I'm going to deconstruct this liquid pipe. Okay, we have got a problem with Hicks throwing up everywhere. We need to turn the yellow alerts off so that he can go get some rest or something. We need to get him some food. There's some food. Hey, Hicks, 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 my friend, just, just, just come on over here. You, you look, look at this, look at this. Your, your calories are down low. We need, we need to get you doing stuff for yourself. Did people eat your food? Did people really eat your food? Okay, Hicks, can you, can you, pl can you please eat rather than just throwing up everywhere? I need you to eat. You're, you're gonna starve. You're down to 150 calories. Look, it's right there. No, no, no. There, right there. Okay, all right, all right, all right. He's doing it, he's doing it. This is good. 
Well, that sure was awkward, but now what we've got is a little bit of a water overflow here. It's going to be coming up and pulling down into this water tank that we have up here. Wonderful. I'm trying to build Hicks a bed so he can actually, you know, get some sleep tonight and have a have a good time. I don't know whether that's actually going to be prioritized enough for people to actually get it done. Let's uh, do those and see what happened. Uh, we do actually, believe it or not, have a little bit of gas coming through here. I need to put down a filter for this. And we can get some oxygen and some hydrogen coming out of here nicely. We're very close, very, very close to getting the hydrogen generator. It's what we're working towards. Wait, wait, it's just down here. The hydrogen generator is what we're working towards. Okay, we just got ourselves the last piece of uh, research that I believe we need. I'm going to come into the power. I'm going to get out this hydrogen generator. I'm going to slap it down onto the same network as everything else here. Oh, look at that popping out. All right, that's cool. We're going to throw down a bit of a gas line here. And that should be, once everyone's built everything, our entire system sorted. Okay, after this second mammoth episode, I can say that we have in fact achieved two objectives. One that we are producing oxygen and hydrogen for burning and for breathing, but the other one we are also turning over some water. We are currently, currently completely dependent on duplicate power, so it does shut down overnight when people are done, but as you can see, we're getting more water out of here, and we just need just a, just need these little gases to be flowing through the pipes. As you can see, they are good going oh that's nice as soon as we get the power the hydrogen out of here oxygen's out of here we've got enough polluted oxygen to worry about ah oh, cool and the carbon dioxide will also fall down here that's going to be one of the things that we need to sort out next time is the carbon dioxide but of course the most pressing issue the most pressing issue is the food but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye